What's up, Mary people? Welcome back to Mary Reacts. I'm reacting to surviving Trey songs, the many allegations of Trey songs. I'm actually like clueless when it comes to this. The only thing I've seen, and I think I saw it on TikTok, was people talking about Trey songs and Kiki Palmer saying that like she called him out um, about like some shady stuff that he did because they used to be friends and nobody believed her. And I heard about this like when the whole Meg the Stallion and um, Tory Lanez thing thing happened. Anyway, if you guys are ready for this reaction, give me a thumbs up. Let's press play. Let's see what they're talking about. Trey, I don't know what you're doing behind the scenes, but you need to do more. Do more. Your All your secrets are about to be unearthed. And by the way, it's sad that like a lot of the the historical figures in R and B that we assumed were getting all the we're now basically about to crucify just like how people crucified R. Kelly. That Trey Songs doc is gonna be crazier than the R. Kelly. Trey Songs is the most nasty, abusive, beats the out of women. Like he is the scum of the earth. If you ever thought you could surpass an R. Kelly doc. This is why, and I'm not saying we should excuse anything. This is why, and this is this is more of a joke than a reality, but the joke is that if you find your favorite artist, R&B, rap, whatever it is, which rap, they're just out there telling you what they're doing anyway. But you are almost better off not knowing their private life because as soon as you start finding out personal things about them, it really puts you off, at least for, for the women. It puts us off. And then it puts you in the uh, between a rock and a hard place because now you know you can't act like you don't know, and it's very hard for some people to separate the art from the artist. Do you see what I'm saying? So if it's gonna be a moral thing, it's always better not to even know about people's personal lives and just enjoy the music for what it is, because I know I'm one of those people. Like if I find out that you're like grimy, like it's so hard for me to just like continue on. Do you know what I mean? And I think it depends on the level of the the crime or the level of the act but anyway let's continue i promise you in 15 years trey songs his doc will he's an awful human being. there's an inherent and she's just over there cooking minding her business while we idolize music it's impossible for us to ever truly get a grasp on the artist behind it so when they fall short of your expectations or even worse breach your ethical code it leads to this age-old dilemma of can you really separate the art from the artist a problem did i just say that i guess i could have just kept watching I'm blown away. Like, I'd be on it, but I was really on it this time, wasn't I? Okay. Being fans from everyone from DaBaby to Marilyn Manson, the issue with trying to reconcile your love for their music with your disgust at their actions has been enough for many people to swear off catalogs of Gary Glitter, R. Kelly, and even XXXTentacion. Oh. While people were in denial what of the crimes do? of R. Kelly for way longer than they should have been, his eventual downfall proved one thing. There's no smoke without fire. But horrifyingly, it seems that R. Kelly may not be the only R&B singer to see his empire turn to ashes. Elevated from fame through his release of his 2005 album, I Gotta Make It, Tremaine has enjoyed it. a prolific uh -huh. run defined by Tremaine. slow James. Okay, so random fun fact. I had the biggest crush, I don't even remember his last name anymore now, on this guy in high school and his name was actually Tremaine. I just loved him so much. In hindsight, like he was definitely not my type. He's not the type of guy I would date today. But I just thought it was so gorgeous, you know? And we ended up becoming friends, but like, he's so hot. Okay, let me continue, just, let's continue. Alex that helped him to amass a passionate, predominantly female audience. Over time, he became a sex symbol to an entire generation of R&B fans. But now, it appears that in tandem with crafting a musical legacy, Trey has allegedly been leaving a trail of destruction and deviancy behind him. And now, he's been dogged by accusations of dubious behavior for years beginning with a general sense that he was all too happy to dehumanize women at a moment's notice. Back in 2012, a stripper told the police that Trey Songz had forcefully thrown a wad of cash at her face, giving her a black eye. In turn, he was charged with misdemeanor assault and harassment. In later years, it was also suggested that after getting into a minor car crash with a woman, he pushed her phone into her face so hard that it shattered her glasses. But while this could have been chalked up to a run-of-the-mill problem with anger issues, the foreshadowing of what was to come... Not him, uh, not him looking like Chris Brown all of a sudden to me. And I'm not talking about, <laughs> I'm not being shady. I'm talking about the actual facial features. Don't come at me. Seen as early as 2015, the very year after Trey scored his second number one with Trigger, no less. During a radio appearance, pop star BB Rexa discussed a run in with Trey that seemed to have left her shaken, confused, and above all, scared enough as to worry about what she could disclose. I went to my lawyer's wedding, and Trey Songs was there with his 
date. He's gonna be the eye all night, and I was like, okay, what's going on? Not me thinking Bibi Rexa was like a British artist. I'm done. I go to the um, the pool house, and he literally is at the door and pushes me against the wall and puts his lips on my lips. He's like, let's do this. And I said, no, 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 I'm not trying to do this right now. He's Anyway, that's something else happened, but I just, I'm not going to say that, but... Although nothing really came of Bibi's story, the first real celebrity to call out Trey was Kiki Palmer, when she revealed that she'd been coerced That is a her. beautiful picture of Kiki, can I just say? I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm all over the place right now, but that is a gorgeous, like, the skin, the smile, the hair, the, it's everything. His music video for the remix of Pick Up The Phone, and in her words, was subject to sexual intimidation. This is preposterous. How am I in this video, Trey? She said after it dropped. After you found me in the closet hiding because I was so afraid of any more conflict. Literally, my last option was to hide because you all would not listen when I said I did not want to be in the video the first time. Just because you give someone food, alcohol, and throw in a little sexual intimidation doesn't mean they will buckle. Yet, you still disrespected me as a young woman whom you've known since she was 12. In a pattern that would become disconcertingly familiar, Trey responded by essentially trashing her claims, telling Twitter that, baby girl bugging, point blank, period. Got my number, could have called, saw the cameras and the lights, heard action. Despite his attempts to douse the flames, the world was unconvinced. And neither was Kiki, who continued to tell her side of the story whenever possible. What? Wow. This is what I, what I mean when I say I live in a bubble. Like, if I didn't even have these reactions, I would really live in a bubble. I don't know what happens in these celebrities' lives. What did you <laughs> mean by sexual intimidation? I mean, just that. I feel... As a female, often I'm put in situations where sometimes males will use their masculinity, their their sexuality to taunt you. I hate to have to bring and say that and, and, and make it known, but I mean, look, I ain't the first person that's gone through. People have gone through this all the time. It would be like you going to a party where the biggest jock is there, and the whole time he's like, you can get, you can get screwed, you can get this, you can get that. You ain't no little girl no more. With the incident with the former child star serving as the first major stain on Trey's character that made the news, this essentially opened the floodgates for a whole host of allegations to come to the surface. This and is why they say never be afraid to come forward because you never know who you're going to inspire. <clears throat> I think that once BB Rexa said something, it, he was able to brush her off, and I'm not trying to be any kind of way, but because I can imagine his fan base was also predominantly black, so they probably just thought, oh, she's just a white girl saying whatever, whatever, and now here comes a black woman saying no like he did it to me too that's crazy it pointed to something depraved within the r&b star that bled into all of his relationships trey songs was into me because we were both sick and twisted and he wanted to do some sick things with me said an adult star Brittany jones things other women Who's are Brittany ashamed jones? to say out loud in february of 2018 the public outlook on trey songs would be permanently discolored after he faced domestic abuse allegations from andrea buera according to reports trey attacked andrea at an nba all-star weekend after she spoke to one of his friends in her testimony it was alleged that trey choked her and punched her and only stopped because of a nearby security guard Jeez. soon andrea's story prompted two other women to come forward with their own accounts of assault at the hands of trey afterwards andrea who was suing for medical expenses made a heartfelt plea to her former friend rather than being vengeful simply wanting him to better himself I want you to get help, and although I'm not your first victim, I'd like to be your last. While his alleged temperament was one thing, it soon emerged that his violence was reportedly sexual in nature too. In an incident that stemmed back two years prior, an anonymous See, this makes me upset. I'm so tired of, I'm tired of um, giving men credit. Because again, as someone who didn't know all of this, there was a, <clears throat> a video with him. I don't know if it was uh, Lori Harvey. There was someone next to him where he goes, can I touch you? Like, you could see him mouth it. I don't know if it was because he learned from this. I took it as him being a gentleman. And I remember actually commenting on it and saying, like, this is what consent looks like. That is literally the only, <clears throat> like, anything public I'd ever seen of him. So it's so funny how, like, the media can really, like, what you consume can affect how you, like, view something. And that's crazy because it just makes me feel like I'm not trying to be any kind of way. I'm not trying to be any kind of way. But... The most you see about the women celebrities, at the most, some of them are abusive, but at the most, typically speaking, they are, like, it's their own downfall. You don't ever see stories of women's exes coming out saying that they preyed on them like this. Not even exes, just women, men that were around them. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's just like, why are men capable of so much, like, hurt and danger? in general like i'm not don't come in my comments talking about not all of us i'm aware of that but if you're still saying not all of us then you're part of the problem in the first place 
reported that Trey Songz had assaulted her in a Miami nightclub and tried to sue him for $10 million. According to court documents, Trey was alleged to have sexually battered Jane Doe by proceeding to forcefully place his hand under her without her consent and attempted to insert his fingers into Jane Doe's without her consent or permission. Due to allegations of witness tampering, the case was brought to a standstill. But as Trey attempted to smother each case before anything could come of it, the accusations just kept rolling in. At Trey Songs, you forced me to do something and threw my phone off of the balcony. Refused to let me and another younger girl go, wrote Selena Powell in a 2020 tweet. Later on, she doubled down in an interview with No Jumper. Who Trey Songs. And he admitted to it, basically, too. I never posted the police report. I feel like he did it, like... For like a spite reason because he also like threw my phone off the balcony and did like a bunch of other stuff. he took our phones like he would not let us leave like literally would not let us leave Wait, for so, a whole entire day so you we go to the his house he like locked me in the bathroom that's when what happened let him talk so girl selena's friend eliza came out with a similar story that much like kareen stephens had also claimed suggested that trey had a particularly unpalatable fetish i'm also gonna say this like unless you're me and you don't know anything about this guy, how you hear allegations over and over again and then continue to be around this guy, like, are you cloud chasing or, and this is not victim shaming, but there's no way I'm gonna yeah, end up in a room with Trey Songs. After everything I'm seeing here, I'm not gonna be the girl that has like an additional story to tell. Does that make sense? I'm happy that everybody's coming forward, but it looks like it happened in like periodically. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't just like he did it all in one day. Do you know what I mean? Or even one month. It's like over years, it seems. And people still, and it looks like people were hearing about it and they just kept thinking they were different. I don't even understand. They just like that. And I was like, what the f on my eyelashes? And he's like, you're fine. Sorry. Every I know that Sims does the same. He took my phone and my purse away for like a whole day. And y'all was just out here proud of it like you're starting a club or something. Oh, I asked him. Oh, I asked him too. Like. Oh, Lord, have some decorum. I can't. Like, if you try to leave, I'm going to drop this out. At the turn of 2021, Las Vegas basketball player Dylan Gonzalez recounted Las her Vegas. own story after she physically couldn't take any more. With what seems like endlessly reoccurring news of the alleged sexual committed by Trey Songs, I'm forced to repeatedly relive in my mind and suffer anew the long-suppressed horror and unbearable PTSD of my by his very hands at a well-known Las Vegas hotel. Gonzalez's statement read, I want to send my love, strength, and hope to all who are victims of sexual and its fatal nature. You are not alone. Courtesy of the cautionary tale that we'd received with R. Kelly, it should come as no surprise that, even though Trey was recently cleared of the latter, the world is now wondering how the R&B singer could have been allowed to hide in plain sight for so long. And similarly, how this monstrous behavior even manifested. In the eyes of some, it seems as though he bought into the notion that he was a sex symbol so much so that he believed it gave him carte blanche to do what he wanted, when he wanted. Just because you're this guy that some women has thrown themselves at before doesn't mean that every woman wants that type of energy. That's what happens with a lot of these celebrities and public figures. They think because 300 other women are waiting at my hotel and they're trying to get in my room and they're in my DMs and women throw themselves at me all the time that I can just be this aggressive guy to all women. Even if you've done that with a girl before, that doesn't mean she wants that right now. Right now. now. Yeah, she's feeling that way right now. We spoke about it before. It may make it awkward. It's an awkward conversation to have, but you have to be very clear with the woman you're approaching and letting them know, listen, I'm sexually attracted to you. Are you feeling this vibe? No, if not, cool. Because then you end up with allegations like this. And once this is on your name, I don't know Trey personally, but once it's on your name, even if you're found innocent, people will still always look at you in a certain light. Trey seems to be prepared to defend himself. Trey definitely replied with, I don't know if that means much at all with text messages showing a woman wanting you. These text messages didn't tell me much at all. At He's all. just one of the few people that is ready right away to talk about it. But while Rory and Mal initially seemed willing to give him the benefit of the doubt and maintain that he was innocent until proven guilty, it appears that any shred of uncertainty is long gone. In 15 years, how long is it going to be? That Trey Songz doc is going to be crazier than the R. Kelly one. Trey Songz is the most nasty, abusive, beats the out of women like he is the scum of the earth if you ever thought you could surpass an r kelly doc i promise you in 15 years trey songs his doc will. he's an awful human being and somebody is gonna knock him the out. this isn't one story this is personal that i know with i'm not even exaggerating I'm close to 15 to 20 women all with the exact same experience that I know not to be liars at all. I'm not talking about the charges that he was charged with. I'm talking about my personal experience with women that I know personally. He's a awful human being. 
Despite the fact that the pair usually agree on very little, academics echoed Rory's comments, essentially painting Trey's conduct as though it were an open secret within the industry that many of Trey's peers chose to ignore. I honestly feel that Trey Swan's gonna end up in chaplains because there's just too many women. Again, I, I have no idea what's his body count. Probably like, like 500. Women, but they all have the same story. The thing is, y'all haven't heard the other part of the story yet. Wait till everybody's telling the story about Trey. Start mentioning the strap-on story. When I hear 10 chicks, when they all tell me the same story, I'm like, I fear for whatever his legacy is, and I fear for his actual freedom. I'm telling you this right now. They all tell me the same stories until shackles get slapped on somebody or until there's some big documentary that comes out. Everybody's going to act like they don't hear it. With insecure Sarunas S. Jackson claiming that he tried to press women but would run from men, it seems that the scales have tipped, and even Trey appears to have acknowledged that something has fundamentally shifted. Ever since Christmas 2021, around the time that Dylan Gonzalez made her first accusation, Trey has laid low across all social media, As knowing that should. any post he makes will come with an influx of comments, and not the kind that he wants to see. And while it's likely that some people will be able to put their feelings aside when he next releases music, there's a large sector of the listening public who will have cast him aside from here on out. No matter what happens, Trey will have to walk on eggshells, as he may be about to learn that no amount of money or fame will allow you to outrun your misdeeds forever. As when your image is built on what many have alleged to be a lie, it only takes something to finally stick for everything to come tumbling down. Lord, I only like like three, Trey, four songs. I don't know. I only like like three, four songs from him anyway. I'm not, I've never been like, I don't know his albums. Like I know Chris Brown's albums, for example. So, and for me, this wouldn't be a hard catalog to do away with. But wow, like, thank y'all for requesting it. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below. Other videos that you'd like for me to react to, if you're not part of our family, definitely subscribe. We're the Delphins Alive. I love you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.